Welcome to another episode on Global Geopulse, the virtual hub where we explore the heartbeat of our world through the lens of geography. Our mission? To bring you closer to the world one detailed, fact-filled video at a time. Today we delve into the economic pulse of our planet, focusing on a topic that's as important as it is intriguing, the world's poorest countries. Taking the 15th spot, we have Mozambique. Despite its rich natural resources, Mozambique's economy struggles due to high corruption levels, weak infrastructure, and a lack of skilled labor. Next, we move to the Democratic Republic of Congo. Despite its wealth and natural resources like diamonds and gold, the DRC suffers from political instability and lack of infrastructure, leading to a significantly low GDP. As we go deeper into this list, we find countries like Burundi, Malawi, and Niger. These countries, despite their rich cultural heritage and natural beauty, are marred by issues like political unrest, poor education, and lack of access to healthcare. The top five poorest countries according to Nukbear's data include Central African Republic, Democratic Republic of Congo, Burundi, Liberia, and Niger. Each of these nations has a GDP per capita of less than $500, a stark contrast to the wealthiest nations where GDP per capita runs into tens of thousands. Now let's switch gears and talk about global poverty and wealth distribution. According to the World Bank, nearly 10% of the world's population lives on less than $1.9 a day. That's close to 770 million people living below the international poverty line. On the other side of the spectrum, the wealthiest 1% of the population owns more than twice as much wealth as the remaining 90%. This disparity in wealth distribution is a global issue that needs urgent attention. While these statistics may seem bleak, it's important to remember that change is possible. Countries like China and India have made significant strides in reducing poverty over the past few decades. Economic growth, investment in education and healthcare and good governance are key to improving the living standards in these poorest countries. In conclusion, while the world's poorest countries face many challenges, there is hope for improvement. Through understanding, compassion and action, we can all play a part in making our world a more equal place. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the economic geography of our world. Stay tuned to Global Geopulse for more insightful explorations. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning.